Remember these movies? I remember watching these movies and just being in awe of how amazing they looked on the big screen. It felt like the boundaries of filmmaking were being expanded. But can you guess what's the one thing that they all had in common? Well, for the most part, all of these films were shot on the original Aerie Alexa. And that camera could only shoot in 1080p. My iPhone can shoot 4K, but this camera couldn't back in 2012. And I watched these movies on a 45 foot wide screen and never once felt like the movie was not sharp enough. Now you might be having three questions here. How could these incredible movies shot in 1080p look so good even in theatres? And if they were actually shot in 1080p, is 4K even worth it? And some of you might be even wondering what these numbers even mean. Hey friends, I hope you're doing well. If you like content like this, please consider subscribing for more explain and tech related videos like this. Before we start the video, please let me know if you're watching this video in 1080p or 4K in the comment section below. For starters, let's talk about what these numbers mean in the first place. So the video you're watching right now is made up of tiny little dots called as pixels. Resolution is the number of pixels present in this video. Let's say you're watching this video in 1080p, also called as Full HD. It means there are 1080 pixels present vertically and 1920 pixels present horizontally. The number of pixels that are present vertically is used to denote the resolution of the video. 1260 by 720 is referred to as 720p, 1920 by 1080 is referred to as 1080p. Now if we double the number of similarly sized pixels both vertically and horizontally, we get 2160 vertical pixels and 4320 horizontal pixels, which is also known as 4K. Well, DCI 4K to be precise. For some reasons, resolutions that are 4K and higher denoted by the number of pixels that are present horizontally unlike 1080p. So then why does 1080p look so good even in such big screens in theatres? The short answer is 1080p isn't a low resolution like most people make it out to be. But if you want a longer answer, we need to look at perception of detail. Let's say you have a 32 inch TV and this TV runs at 1080p and you have it right in front of your face. You can easily see the individual pixels. But if you keep moving it away from you, at a certain point, you won't be able to see the individual pixels anymore. And this is because our eyesight isn't that powerful and it can't see the difference in detail at that distance. So even if you have a 4K TV at the same distance, your eyes wouldn't be able to pick up the detail because the TV is just too far away. Now let's say at the same distance, you stretch the TV and make it 64 inches. All of a sudden, you might be able to see the individual pixels again because you've stretched the TV to make it bigger, thereby also stretching the pixels and making them bigger. To compensate for this, what we can do is we can double the number of pixels vertically and horizontally so that you can't see the individual pixels anymore. What you just did by doubling the resolution is change the resolution from 1080p to 4K. In my iPhone 11 review, I've mentioned that anything just over 720p at an average viewing distance of 10.5 inches is just overkill, which means even if you have a 4K display on your phone, you will not be able to perceive the full sharpness. It is just too many pixels crammed into a tiny screen for your eyes to perceive as extra detail. Even though the screen in the theater is much bigger, your smartphone is going to look the same size if you place it very close to your eyes. Therefore, if you can't see the individual pixels on your smartphone at a distance of 5 inches from your face, it makes perfect sense why you wouldn't be able to see pixelation on a much bigger screen that takes up the same field of view but is much farther away. So is 4K even worth it? Since I've already explained how in most instances our eyes wouldn't be able to benefit from 4K, the second side of the argument is the accessibility of 4K for content content creators and consumers. Cameras that actually shoot good 4K cost a lot more than cameras that can shoot good HD. The SD cards that 4K video needs are two to three times more expensive. 4K files take up three times the storage compared to a HD file. And editing 4K also needs computers that are much more powerful and therefore also more expensive. And 4K video is generally much slower to edit and export. Let's say you get by all of these hurdles and manage to make content in 4K and upload to YouTube. The sad news is that only about 5% of the YouTube's viewers actually watch YouTube in 4K. 4K is much more expensive to consume than you'd think. A display that can view 4K is just the starting point. You'd also need a much faster internet connection to stream 4K. And 4K consumes about 3 times more data than HD. And if you want to download or store 4K files, again, they take about 3 times more storage than 1080p. Something that I found very amusing is that about 75% of all the streams 
Amazon platforms like Netflix, YouTube and Amazon Prime are done using a smartphone. I actually know somebody who just got his new Samsung Galaxy phone and he was so excited to show me how sharp the 8K video looked on his laptop which had a 1080p display. Smartphone companies have completely lost it these days. They're manipulating customers into thinking that their phone which can shoot garbage quality 8K is somehow better than good quality 4K and even 1080p for that matter. While not telling them that the screen on the same phone cannot even play back the so-called 8K. And I'm sure that 99% of the people don't have a TV or a display that can view 8K. The truth is that since most people consume their content on their smartphones, 4K is never gonna be mainstream anytime soon because there is simply no point in having a 4K display on your smartphone. So is 4K all just a waste? Well, not really. I can think of three good reasons where 4K might be really useful. It can be really helpful for content creators as it provides much more detail during the editing process to work with. While editing 4K footage, a 4K monitor can be really helpful to see the minutest of details. And finally, IMAX screens are so big that you actually need the 4K resolution to make them look good. If none of these sound like something that you'd be concerned about, then you can save yourself a lot of money by just sticking with 1080p. No one is gonna complain and it is not gonna make any difference in the viewing experience, I promise. And that is why I think 4K is overrated. And please subscribe for more tech-related content. I'll see you very soon.